what is up? All right, so it's been it's been a week since the last video. I took all last week off, 4th of July, we had a family vacay, just like kind of detox from social as much as I could. It was awesome. I'm back this week and I'm super pumped. Today is gonna be a Q&A and I have a special video to show you at the end of the Q&A. Q&A from the bus, the sloth bus. I'm not gonna lie, it is kind of hot in here. I wanted to change it up update to my channel so basically guys what I think I'm gonna do from here on out is I'm still gonna be uploading obviously but the videos it might not be a vlog every single video I want to establish some like core foundational some of the videos I'm gonna be uploading are gonna be on things that I'm super passionate about obviously art creating tech social media different things like that that interest me so some of the videos are gonna be vlog style. Some of them might just be me, be me doing a super cool art project. Some of them might be giving tips on how to freelance better as an artist, how to make money as an artist. Um, so just all sorts of different topics. Tech, if there's something that I buy that helps me as a creator and an artist create, I'm gonna share that with you guys. I actually think you're gonna like them a lot more. I think once I establish like that core audience, I'm gonna go back into vlogging. Um, I'm not gonna stop vlogging. Some of the videos are still gonna be vlog style, how I can add more value to you guys. So the videos might be a little bit different here and there. It's gonna be awesome. Hope everyone had an awesome 4th of July week. Let's do this Q&A. First question from Tom Zizuki, I think it is. Tom asked, top five places to visit in Arizona and the top five places that you want to visit. Right, top five places I think you should visit in Arizona. Antelope Canyon, Horseshoe Bend, the Grand Canyon, Sedona, and the Muggy on Rim. There's like way more, but AZ is way more than just a desert where there's so much more to do. People come here and they have no idea. They just think it's like cactus and desert and mountains and it's not. Arizona has the largest national uh, forest, pine trees, I believe, called the, it's the Tonto National Forest. It is huge, so we have everything. We've got mountains, we've got red rocks, it snows here. Uh, we got lakes, we got giant canyons, we literally have everything in AZ. I love Arizona. It is my favorite place to be. Top five places I want to visit, Cape Town, South Africa, Bali, Japan. I've been to Australia and I didn't get to go to New Zealand, so New Zealand, somewhere in Indonesia. Question number two from M. Gang, M. Gang asked what kind of camera do I use? All right, I use two cameras. I use a Sony Mark V. The point and shoot, super epic, super nice camera. Shoots 4K, shoots 120 frames per second slow-mo. It is a beast. Um, and my second camera, the one that I'm shooting on right now, is a Canon 70D. It's a little old school. I've had it for two years. I'm actually probably gonna be buying a new camera in the next month or two. Either I'm gonna go to the Canon Mark IV, IV? yeah, Canon Mark IV, or I might just go to a Canon 80D. So. Right now, Canon 70D and Sony Mark V. Good cameras. Greg P asks, do you use Bristol Vellum? I'm horrible. If he's talking about paper, do I use Bristol Vellum and it's like kind of like textured Bristol paper or smooth? I swear by Bristol smooth paper. Bristol paper is the best paper if you're a doodler, a drawer, you just want to mess around, go grab some Bristol paper, the smooth, you can buy it literally anywhere. Go to Michael's, Joann's, any craft store, order it at Amazon. Um, Bristol paper is the best. Next question, final question, is from Logan Patton Dude. Patton Dude? Sorry, I butcher names. All right, can we get in some insight on your inking process? Do you typically do pencil sketches? or what. I always sketch everything on paper first and then I like to ink. I use Sharpies and Micron pens, two of the best awesome pens. Um, I ink it up and then after I ink it up, then I usually take a picture of it, put that picture into Illustrator and then retrace and draw. The reason why I like to do um, an inked version is because I like to have original actual pieces of all my art so if I ever want to sell it or just keep and just have so I have like a massive collection of all my art um, that way I always have an original um, drawing of whatever design or illustration I did lots of erasing sketch erasing and then I ink over everything with sharpies and micron pens like one more question the lemon lemur asked 
Do you ever get artist block? And if you do, what do you do for it? Artist block is the worst. I literally get it every single day. One of the problems of being a full-time artist is you're not creative all the time, unfortunately. It's super, super hard because I sit down every day and I force myself to create and literally 80% of the time I'm not inspired or I'm just having a creative block because as all creatives know, whatever industry you're in, it's really hard to be creatively inspired 24 seven. It just doesn't come. Most of the times I get inspired by stuff is when I'm not doing art. Pro tip, if you get a creative block, the best thing you can do is step away, go do something completely different. Still be thinking, trying to think of ideas, but just pay attention to your surroundings. 99% of the time, something will click and then boom, you'll be golden. Another tip that I have for when I have creative blocks is I'm constantly writing down ideas. Anytime I get an idea, I put it in here into my notes. And then I always have a list to go back and refer to. So if I'm having a creative block, but I've got like 20 things down on my list of things I want to create, I will go for a walk. I'll get outside of like my normal. I'll look at my list, pick something. And as I'm out, like doing something completely different away from tech, I'll be thinking of that. And then when I, usually when I come back, I'm like ready to go. I have something very special to show you guys since you've lasted through this whole Q and A. I had this random email from someone I didn't know. This kid, Austin, this awesome dude, Austin, sent me a video. So, so he made this video of a highlight of all the like, I think it was like the past like five months or six months of all the different projects I've done. Well, he took all the videos that he could off YouTube from like the past like five months and kind of made it, cut it up into like a montage and made a video of it. Super cool. Austin, thank you, man. If you're watching, I really appreciate it. It was super fun to watch. And so with that being said, let's check out this video from Austin. I want you guys to check it out and enjoy it. I will see you in the next video. All right, peace, follow your bliss. Thank you.